Plants are becoming a part of design. Planteriors, or interior designs that incorporate plants, are becoming a hot new trend. From public buildings to private homes, we learn how planteriors are becoming the norm. This is Seoul City Hall. Inside the building is a green wall that stretches up to the seventh floor. It's the vertical garden that was installed five years ago. The design concept of our vertical garden was planned with the theme of bringing the green energy of Seoul Plaza and the vitality of the citizens into the City Hall building. The vertical garden is 28 meters tall. It's a third of the area of a football field. This interior vertical garden is also called a bio wall, that is, a living, breathing wall. Because living plants are part of the wall, the advantages go beyond mere decorative effects. The, the gardens and the terraces are beautiful indoors. I haven't seen anything like it. Uh, it's so amazing and it's impressive and it's clearly a lot of work. <laughs> With so many plants, it feels like the air is purified and I feel refreshed. 70,000 plants belonging to 14 species are planted here, including devil's ivy, ardesia, and philodendron. Our vertical garden's visual effect adds a sense of comfort. The temperature and humidity are improved, enhancing air quality in the summer and winter. There's also the effect of filtering out fine dust or interior pollutants. How is this enormous vertical garden tended to? The watering system is controlled by a computer in the central control room. About 10 tons of water are used every two weeks. The City Hall vertical garden has become a sole hotspot. But instances of plants being used for interior design can be found in various places. With this increased interest in planterias, has come a growth in related specialized businesses. This company, located near Seoul Forest, is a consulting firm specializing in planterias. They have been seeing a spike in consultations recently. There are many consultation requests because many people want plant interiors in commercial spaces. This year, there are many inquiries for living quarters as well. Public interest in plant interiors is definitely rising. Various potted plants and design objects are introduced through the showroom. Many people have also been visiting recently to find companion plants. People who live alone are limited when it comes to pets because of the responsibility and difficulty of care. A surprising number of people want to try keeping companion plants instead. The belief is that planteriors are not just a passing trend, but a field of interior design which will continue to grow. Rapid development and urbanization have eliminated a lot of green space. That's why people look for plants or green spaces even more. They want to feel more closely the basic healing or comforting properties of nature. That's why they bring a lot of plants indoors. People look for plants because they are relaxing and soothing. This is an apartment in Seoul. Potted plants that decorate the living room bring to mind a small garden. Homeowner Baegun Son began growing plants for the children and turned to planteria design a while ago. I kept plants since I got married, but increased their number because of my children's atomic dermatitis. I think it's effective. There are lots of plants that even beginners can easily keep. Peace lilies, laurels, and anthurium have air purification effects acknowledged by NASA, and they're easy to tend to. Plants like yuma and peace lilies are incorporated into the interior design. The use of space and visual effect are excellent. Ms. Peck placed air purifying plants in the kitchen, where carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide levels climb when cooking and she placed plants that emit negative ions while removing carbon oxides in the children's bedroom. The presence of plants in the house has also changed the daily routine of Ms. Peck and her children. It's often hard to go outdoors with kids these days because of fine dust. This way we can see green even without going outside. The air feels clearer and it's good for the children's emotions. We also have herbs we can eat at home. I pick them with the kids, which seems to help them a lot emotionally. 
The spatial design of planteriors break down boundaries between the outdoors and indoors by harmoniously arranging people and plants. Thanks to each small pot's charming ability to add rhythm and stability to an entire space, it is staking a place as a beloved culture in the lives of modern people exhausted by the day-to-day. -day.